Um, hey guys, um, for this lesson, I just wanted to talk a little bit about um, applying textures and patterns in Photoshop. So as you can see here, I was doing this portrait, right? And um, I've got this pattern kind of going on on her face, right? And so I think with a lot of um, big, uh, people who are new to Photoshop, they just sort of like, they whack on they, they work on this like sort of grungy texture or like this is a weird texture but they don't, they don't know how to apply it so it looks really shitty and really sort of like early 90s kind of kind of graphics so I was gonna show you how I kind of do stuff like this and how to make it kind of work so how I went on how it was first was so I just you know did my painting um, did my painting and all that kind of thing and I got this sort of um I've got this sort of uh, moth kind of uh, motif going on through my through my painting. It's a uh, it's uh, a kind of moth called the the death head moth moth, and um, like it kind of looks like that. So that was like a, a painting, and then I applied some texture and all, all that kind of stuff. So basically, you know, we got like this moth going on here. This sort of moth over there, moth, and. Um, yeah, so there's like this uh, this death head mosque moth kind of thing going on, uh, and it's, it sort of looks like it has like a almost like a, a skull kind of pattern uh, in its own like you know natural natural body. So I was kind of like doing using that sort of idea uh, over here, and so like the idea was like like over here we've got like some skulls and some moths and like a hidden skull that kind of stuff. Right, right, right. So. My thinking was okay. I grabbed, I grabbed like that um, this moth off of Google, right? Um, but I don't use the whole thing. I like I just grab a section. I grab a section of the wing and I cut it, and then I start to like move it around. And I'm gonna start to like wrap it around this um, this character. So normally, what the kind of thing normally you, you people a person would do, they go to the blending options. And you can go and you know, go from normal, go to darken, and I can just sift through, multiply, color burn, linear burn, all this kind of stuff, uh, until you kind of find some sort of nice, ooh, that's pretty cool, some sort of nice sort of texture, right? But the thing is, like, yeah, cool, all right, but um, it doesn't, it doesn't sort of wrap around the form, it doesn't warp. So the the, the idea is you want to. Whatever text you're applying, you know, whatever it is, you want it to follow, like, the form of whatever it is you're wrapping around. So imagine, imagine uh, this was like a 3D wireframe, like a 3D mesh, you know, like it would go like that. The nose would kind of be like, like that, right? Like, you could imagine a 3D wireframe going around, kind of thing. So. Whenever you get to your texture, you uh, you want to wrap it around in these sort of ways. So even sometimes what I'll do, right? I'll um, I'll just make a little guide for myself, just like that. I just leave it above, right? <laughs> leave it above, love. Oh, leave it above, and then I get my texture, and then I press Control T or Command T, right? Uh, and then I go to warp. First off, I'll just make it a little bigger. And then I'm going to go to warp, and then I'm going to try and get it to kind of wrap around what I want, kind of like that. Cool. So I'm just move my guide. It's kind of like that, but. But um, so as we can see, it's sort of it's kind of wrapping around this sort of way. But it looks ugly and pretty shitty right now. So again, you can't just leave it like that. You'd have to go um, get an eraser and then you just erase what's unneeded, what you don't want, all that other shitty stuff over here, and get all that out of there. Blend it in nicely. Blend it in nicely. Uh, right, that kind of thing. And maybe, you know, it's a bit too harsh, maybe I reduce the opacity in my, my there we go, my layer, kind of thing. But 
whatever. You just keep on doing that again and again and again. Uh, and I did that with, and as we can see, I, when I finally did it, I had it like that. And, you know, I had some texture on the mouth as well. Again, um, it's all the same wing, but you can see now, again, it's all kind of wrapping around this one. You know, even like, I got it so like, you know, if I imagine my center line uh, of the face, right, it would be like, the center line comes in here, 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 here. So I even got it so that like, the texture um, gets, as best I could, it divides directly in half over there. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, you just do that on and on and on. Uh, even some things I think I found that, like, so, like, this is very much kind of black on white. If I didn't like it, I experimented with, um, like, doing the inverse. So, control I or uh, command I will, like, give you the inverse of these kind of things. So, like, like that, uh, me, and then you go and you figure out like, you know, maybe it works better in a different blending mode, but you also invert it, and I don't know, you just experiment. And again, all the oh, that's pretty cool. And all the while, you know, make sure you are making things clean, whatever like that. You make you make things blend. It even may may require you to go go on top after the fact, and then just paint. Um, you know, just paint your own stuff into it, and, and whatever you make, maybe it's just you know all in together and that kind of thing. To you, know, you can apply some of your own designs and this kind of stuff, and you know, I don't know. This <laughs> this looks kind of shitty right now, but you get the idea. Um, yeah. So in the end, you know, I did some sort of experimentation, and I got you know very much more like black on white to the texture. Then I inversed it. Got stuff, stuff like that, you know. Um, and then this was a, this was a combination. I had the last one was a combination of both that one and that one. I, and I erased some bits. I kept some bits, and I painted back on top of it. Um, in the end, I got something like that. I even brought some into the neck, some into her shoulder, um, and then again. You know, and then after the fact, I'll go in. It's not quite done yet. I mean, after the fact, I'll go in and I'll, I'll paint some more into it or, or whatever, you know, whatever whatever needs to be done. But yeah, that's how we apply texture. So whatever texture you're applying, don't just slap it on willy-nilly. Be, um, be conscious of how the forms are wrapping around. You know, be conscious, like over here, you know, I wanted the forms to be wrapping around in this sort of way. Um, over here, the texture had to be wrapping around like that. You know, just be conscious of that. Um, and again, to warp texture, or whatever whatever you bring in. Um, oh, ooh, even got a side job, even this bit. Uh, yeah, like even here, I made sure that bit was warped into the side of the jaw. Erase some bits, all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, just make sure it fits. Um, yeah, and then you paint on top of it. You blend it all. Yeah, don't just yeah, don't just slap on the texture and leave it. Slap on the texture, warp it, transform it, make it work for you. Erase a bit, paint on top of it a little bit um, until you have something that you like. Okay, quick lesson. Nah, that's it for today. That's it for today. Thank you. Bye.